What's up guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios, and today I'm going to break down this scene that I made in Blender. So as you can see, this is a super simple yet effective set right here. So I just have four planes emitting light, and then I've got this circle right here with the title of the song and the artist name up here, and all of that is emitting light. Now, I did uh, model this quick little <laughs> rough little thing for him to stand on, but you couldn't really see it too much in the video, so it didn't really matter. Um, I did make it shiny just to give it a little bit of an extra spedazzle or whatever. Now what I really want to talk about is right here, this, this green screen footage right here. So I pre-keyed this footage in After Effects and I brought it into Blender using the Images as Planes add-on, which is a free add-on. If you don't know how to bring your green screen footage into Blender, I have a video that I will link in the description that will show you how to do that. So what I really want to talk about today is... <laughs> how to light this type of scene because I'm using EV right here. So for example, I have a point light here. I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the extras so that we can see the light right here. If I go ahead and turn this light off, you'll see that it appears that my green screen footage is gone and it's not actually gone. But since I don't have an HDRI and since I'm using EV, these emissive planes and all this emissive stuff isn't actually lighting the images as planes. Whereas if you were using cycles, your video footage would be lit. But since we're using Eevee, we're gonna have to fake the lighting a bit. So I've gone ahead and added this light right here, which is lighting my green screen footage. And we can see that if I hit G and Y and move this light back behind the footage, it's no longer lighting it. And vice versa, you know, if I bring it forward there, it's way too exposed. So I had to find like kind of a sweet spot for it. And then you can go ahead and use this to change it to whatever color you want and it's a really cool way of kind of grading your footage. Now I did do my final color grading in Adobe Premiere but this was close enough for what I needed and I didn't want to push the colors too harsh in Blender because I wanted to have that flexibility to do a bit of color grading in Adobe Premiere. Now I'm not a color grading expert but I will tell you that if you go down here under color management, under color management it's set to filmic. You can play with this a bit. You could switch it over to standard but I would recommend leaving it at Filmic, especially if you're planning to bring it into another program like Adobe Premiere or something to color grade. You're going to get a better result that way. Um, it is fun sometimes to mess with this contrast. Like you can go really high contrast. And right there, that almost looks like more of a final look. But again, if you're planning on doing some of that grading in another program, you might want to hold off on that. Now, when it comes to this green screen footage here, if we go to our shading editor, and I'll just switch over to the rendered mode here. I'll move this up to give us some more room. You can see that it's the color is going into the base color. Now, you can plug that into the emission, in which case um, you're, that's, this is because the light's on, so if I turn off that light, you'll see that now the green screen footage is emitting its own light, but it, it makes it a lot harder when you're adding that light to really, well here, let me click the light here, to really get that same look. It, it just doesn't look the same. So I would recommend not having your green screen footage plugged into the emission, just keeping it straight into the base color. Now, keep in mind, there is a time and a place where you may want to plug the color into the emission on your green screen footage. This was not the situation, especially because I'm not using an HDRI, so everything's dark. And I'm really just using this light to A, light my footage, and B, to essentially fake a bit of the lighting coming from these planes here. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. We're gonna keep this one short and simple, but thanks for watching. And if you did find it helpful, let me know in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.